Hello everybody. Hope everyone's well today. I've finally sorted out the problems with this game. I've gone for a disc version. I, I wasn't sure it existed. But it does. And I've, I've obtained it. I'm just going to uh, fiddle around with my OBS. Sounds a bit naughty, doesn't it? Fiddle with my OBS. Oh. OBS. We're there. I've tested this version out. It does play with Chun Li. That's where the tape was going wrong. It also didn't load Balrog. It looks like this disc has possibly more data as well. Let me look this up a sec actually. Oh no, it's a lot less data. Strange. So the whole game on disc fits into 170 kilobytes. On the tape, there's actually 4 megabytes. Well, without further ado, let's get going because uh, it doesn't take long to load. I'm hoping, due to the lack of loading time, or waiting, I should say, lack of waiting, I should be able to smash through a lot of characters in this game. It is a very easy game. Don't be expecting some sort of a <coughs> some sort of, excuse me, some sort of challenge. It's, it's the challenge is the patience again. I like these crack throws. Code Dave. Obviously, I don't want cheats. There is a little bit of loading, not a lot. I'm not going to warp. <laughs> Shout going out to F Andrew because. Trying to get me to join join bigfollows.com. It's not my scene, but appreciate the message, mate. All good. You're welcome here. How about just kick back from the advertising? Chill out, watch a bit of retro Street Fighter. The best type of Street Fighter. With the best music. <laughs> it's it's lacking in music. It's got good music, but you don't hear it that often, and there's one loop playing through. That's the, that's the tape version anyway. It's the disc version. It's pretty much the same. Okay. Difficulty 7. One player game. Notice on the tape it says Tournament Battle, which is more true to the the original but this is maybe more true to the arcade actually I'm not sure <coughs> I'm gonna go for a uh, guile I've completed it with Ryu already but uh, if it's quick at the very end I'll do it with Ryu again on this game in this version I do have work later but I've got another three hours nearly so
That wasn't too bad. Right, see, is it, see if it's as easy with Guile as it is with Ryu. I mean, with Ryu, you have that quick punch. Oh yeah, you got it with Guile. You can't punch in the air with Guile. Though. Oh, Ryu, Ryu. I managed to punch that one time in the air then. Oh god. Can't get. Right now I've beat him, I'll try and pull off the sonic boom. Like I say, I'm pretty much just hoping to smash through this game. If you're watching even just for a couple of minutes, give me a follow. There's so much variety coming out on this channel. When I get a better machine, I'm going to be playing some newer games as well, occasionally. Oh, you do a sonic boom, but wow, the frame rate suffers after I mean, this is in the full difficulty, he's just standing there like a punch <laughs> I don't know, I like an easy game when you're just starting out streaming, it's good. I'm not using warp at all, so I guess um, if you have I think a, a legit Commodore 64 with a disc reader, it might be the same experience. They do go for a lot of money, these. I saw a pack of three, eight, three disc games, Commodore 64, including this one, all boxed for £80 by it now. It was this, two other not so great games. I can't remember them now. They were heard of, though. Big, big budget games for, you know, big ports. But no, not something I could afford to shell out on. One day, pretty soon, I'm going to buy a C64. I'm just, you know, thinking about it. I mean, I, I've got a CRT TV, but I don't have space to rig, rig it up. So really, if I buy something, it's going to have to link into my widescreen TV and play properly. If not, I may as well use an emulator, you know. But it'll be nice to have one. I've got an NES so far. About 12 games or 10 games. I would have liked to see him. I keep saying this, but I would have liked to see him port this version here to the NES. Just to make it better. Or just, you know, port the arcade, arcade to the NES. <laughs> If they can do it on this system, they must have been able to do something with it. You know. Perfect. I'll do my own sound effects here. I like the background in the game, I think they've done well. In the tape version, when you punch them too quick, they end up halfway up the screen, but that seems to have not happened yet. And with this. Yeah, he's giving me a fight here. Oh, I've got him. <laughs> uh, the game just paused itself. I'm not touching the keyboard. <laughs> P button don't work. Ah, oh. just quit the game. Oh well, it's only the second fight. Have I found a bug? I mean, I was using the controller only
this is the third stream of Street Fighter 2 and I haven't managed to uh, have a bug free experience yet. It's not letting me pass this screen now. There we go. Oh, difficulty level 8. You can't get to 8. What the hell happened there? Well, <coughs> I wish I left it on difficulty 8 now, but I just proved it with video evidence. It ended up on 8 somehow after pausing itself. You cannot get back to 8. Maybe that's after you complete it, I don't know. I'm going again. Oh, it's remembered that I've beaten Guile. Uh, beaten a uh, row. Interesting. Oh, okay. Something wrong with this game. Great tune. I'm definitely going to get more into my Commodore disc games. I've got a pack with every tape, or well, it's near enough, near enough every tape. But I do like the discs. I need to have a hunt around for that pack. I find all the discs. <laughs> What a nightmare, eh? I mean, I'm going to restrict myself just to the analog stick and one button now. Just to I mean, there's only supposed to be one button anyway. But I uh, don't want it to pause itself. You are enjoying this and you're a bit, a bit funny like me. <laughs> enjoying watching this. I've got a complete playthrough of uh, Final Fight on the C64 tape. <clears throat> it's quite similar to this. The engine, you know, the graphics. Not the engine. I mean, the engine ain't that far out as well, but obviously it's a scrolling shooter. It's quite, um, quite authentic to the arcade. It keeps most of the levels. Got the map. And characters, but uh, it lacks music and the graphics aren't great. Obviously, I've been on the C64, the controls are not great, but it takes about two and a half hours to complete, and it's pretty easy. I've completed it. It's on my YouTube, it's also on Twitch at the moment, but I know that drops off after 30 days. All right, I'm going through here. I don't even want to hit my mute button in case it breaks the Commodore emulator. I think it does sometimes. So no matter what button I choose, so you got to hear me take a drink now and then. What have I got now? E Honda. Don't you dare pause. I just want to beat him, move past him. Show him sumo is not the most powerful way, uh, warrior. Maybe it is. I wouldn't want to mess with one, put it that way. It'd be like trying to beat up a bloody car, a moving car, wouldn't it? Cobb getting absolutely destroyed here. Yeah. 
Let's see if it glitches again because I've got him in the same spot. This guy can take a beating. Punching his ankle over and over. Right, there we go. Oh, yeah. Guy was happy with that one. Believe it or not, that's about the closest fight I've ever had in this game. I really do think though, when people rate this game badly, they're, they're comparing it to like the SNES version or something. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, if someone, I know there's IK plus, which I do need to try. But other than that, you know, it's pretty good. If you ask me, same with Final Fight. Compare that to say Golden Axe. Now Golden Axe is a bit bit better, maybe, in, in many ways, but not in every way. And Golden Axe was regarded as, as an absolute classic on the city. <coughs> People just hate on this one because, or the, the cap, these ones, because, well, they came late in the run from the start, didn't they? It's like five years after Golden Axe. And yeah, most people had an Amiga or a Mega Drive or whatever else by now when this came out. But I put the title as all playthrough, all characters, of course. I don't have time to sit and edit, so it makes it much it makes much sense for me when once I complete it with one character I just stop and start the stream. Normally maximum five minute break in between and then I come back on. Save me editing, otherwise I've got to download a two gigabyte file, edit it, upload it, you know, it's for like hours of wasted time. Can't really use my computer while I'm doing it. Great deal, either. Certainly couldn't stream while I was doing it. Blanco versus Guile. Come on, I want a perfect. One. With Ryu, you can't do it with Guile. But if you jump and then press punch multiple times, it does a special move basically where you just you lay into him multiple times. Guy was a bit slower. <laughs> that was perfect. Perfect. Oh, he's got some moves here. Yeah. Yeah, Kyle is uh, hard to play with. He's slow. I'm gonna try and pull off the Sonic. Nah, I'm not gonna bother looking up the controls. They're not the same as the uh, arcade. Just let you know. You've only got one button. So. Oh, he's set me on fire. <laughs> no way. It's done it again. Oh, I might have to look up how to unpause it. Might be one of the F buttons. Oh, yes, it is. I just pressed F7, I think. Blanco, you ass. Hey, he's gonna beat me, isn't he? Nah. Don't know what that bug's about, but. 
should not know. Interested to see if Bison would be hard in this. I don't think he will be. Let me know your favourite Commodore games in the uh, chat, in the comments, because I want to play them. Disk system, tape. Listen, I'm, in, I'm interested in every game, not just Commodore 64. I'm interested in earlier Atari games. Even I've never tried them, but like Vic 20, I'm up to, I'm up for. Commodore Amiga. CD32 I think I'm going to draw the line at PS1 I'm not that into the more modern consoles there is obviously games on all of them that I love I'm actually wanting to focus on the 16 bit really and 8 obviously oh, it's just taking a bit longer with Guile That's it, I'm getting the hang of it. It doesn't seem to do as much damage as the road. Either. I'm trying to put out some variety of moves, but it's, it's really hard. As soon as you try, you just start getting losing energy. Just standing there. I mean, don't get me wrong, once I've got this game out of the way and completed, I won't be running back to it. <coughs> but look at them backgrounds, you know. You know exactly what game that is, just by looking at that background. Having a quick break, very quick.
Oh, I can't tell you how much this tune means to me. <laughs> Honestly. Never go never gets old the street bar music for me. Since primary school I've been listening to that one, you know? <laughs> Still love it. I remember seeing it in the magazine before it came out and wanting it, you know. Didn't even know the arcade game existed, I don't think, at the time. Maybe I did. Don't think I did. Gonna beat up John Lee now. Still it takes a bit of time to whip through this game. I know we did have the crash there. It's been 15 minutes at least for actual gameplay so far. Oh, John Lee's taking a while to load. Don't tell me there's a bug because John Lee bugged it on the uh, tape. But uh, I did play as John Lee yesterday behind the scenes. There we go. Land on. Go back to the old spam. <laughs> Beat her up. Well, unlucky chunt. You will have to. Defeat my dragon. Oh, wait, there. there's someone else. I don't know what Gar said. <laughs> Shame they left that out because they could have had that at the end. The little back chat you give to your opponent. right now. Oh. <laughs> when you get them in the corner it pauses it. It's like, no, this isn't fair. Yeah, it could have the little speech above, couldn't it? <laughs> Wonder why they left that out. You must defeat my dragon punch to beat me or something like that. <laughs> I had a really good time late night coding yesterday. It was one of my favourite videos I've done so far. Quite a few... Um, people in the chat as well and uh, we managed to get the colours working eventually going to certainly do more of them, not, not so many late night ones but there will be more late night ones I tend to do coding on my days off which are Monday and Tuesday that's where I really do a lot of it in a day <coughs> this Monday and Tuesday, I'll most probably, if I go back to the coding, which I'm certain to do almost, it'll be um, probably back to the basic project for the beginners that we're doing. It's nice for myself to archive the, the process bit by bit. I actually do watch them back and then I learn from my own videos, see where I went wrong. Sometimes in the video I went wrong, 
didn't notice at the time, stuff like that. Helps you learn. It's called rubber ducking, isn't it, when you talk to yourself. Oh god. America versus Russia, one of the classic battles. Russia started to fight back. Yeah, it was it was an unfair battle. <laughs> Once again, I could easily tell this this game just from looking at the background here. So they haven't done that bad. Oh, he's mad now. Oh, I can't do the jackknife. Whatever looks good. Oh, I so want to do it right then. Sorry, Zangief. Took longer than I thought, definitely. <coughs> Let's go. Funny how some stages take longer than others. I think that's the last dude, and then we're on to the bosses. I think in this game I've perfectly Vega every round that I've fought him. Another big thank you to all the followers from yesterday and everyone. Managed to get free yesterday so I was happy about that. Very happy. Ouch. <laughs> Look how much damage he's done to me with that flame though, you know. It's not fair on him. <laughs> like, it's that easy, I know it's not even worth playing, but I just wanted to do it for archival purposes. I mean, really, people play R-Type on the ZX Spectrum or the Commodore 64, 
you've got no need to. If you're going to slate this game, slate our type Because why play it on that when you've got it on the SNES or the arcades or wherever else? PC Engine one is fantastic. Speaking of our type, it will be one I'm going to be doing. But um, it's a bit boring, isn't it, our type, I find. It's memorising everything all the time. Not really my sort of thing. I, I, I loved it as a kid, our type. I absolutely loved it. I had it on a few systems. I think... I think... Well, definitely the snares, but I can't remember. Maybe the Amiga. Definitely had it twice. Didn't I? The best one I had on the NES was bought for me as a gift, and I actually had it quite early age. It was that um, Life Force? Cherish that game. Oh, you had to punch. I should go back and buy Life Force actually, it was one of the first games I actually got. For the NES. It must have been cheap, that's why they bought it me. I can't imagine it being full price. Oh, lucky that doesn't do enough damage. This should be like, why, why did they make it only do that amount of damage to the boss? Oh, that one done some damage. Seems to have something to do with the distance. Oh, this guy's fighting back. <laughs> Did I throw him then? Oh, Balrog. He had me panicking there. I checked out Wonder Boy on the Commodore 64, you might have seen it. I love it, absolutely love it, but. It's ruined because it doesn't give you the hammers. You got, you got to go see it. The game would have been oh, one of the best Wonder Boy ports, but it ruins it. There's something I don't like about almost all the Wonder Boy ports. The arcade one's so much better than all of them. But for some reason they couldn't quite get it right. Something's wrong about every port, but something different is wrong about it. I've downloaded an Atari ST emulator as well, but uh, still fiddling around getting it to look nice in, in the stream. And uh, not sure what games to play on that yet. I'm not going to rush into that one. Come on, Vega, you're normally easy. But the guy was a bit slow. He, he can't seem to land a punch, Vigo. He's, he's just... 
perfect again. I think that's like the fifth round or the seventh round of him, and he hasn't landed a punch yet. Never seen him do that. You gonna jump, mate? Oh, he got me. One step for him. Good for you, Vega. You landed a punch. <laughs> for some reason, he's the easiest to beat in the whole game. I'm not sure of the correct word for myself in playing this game, but something like sucker for punishment is what it is. <laughs> there will be some playthroughs of the actual Street Fighter 2. Because I've got that retro achievements. And I'm working through those on this game, on the SNES and the Mega Drive. There's lots of versions of this, as you know, and they all have achievements. But um, I've already unlocked like a lot of the easier ones, so some of them are ridiculously hard, like go through the whole game without taking a punch and stuff like that. Well, maybe not quite that hard, but you'll see if you ever go look there. Come on in. Saga. Is that how you say it? Saga. Saga. <laughs> Saga. Oh, you're perfect. Saggot, that's what I call him anyway. He's from Thailand. <laughs> See, if you just had to... If I had to pick where he was from and I didn't know, I'd say Turkey, actually. There's no Turkish characters there in Street Fighter. Maybe there is in Street Fighter V. I have got Street Fighter V on Steam. This computer ain't gonna be running that. Bang. Perfect. <coughs> it's been 50 minutes to get here so far, it's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I had to restart with that first bug yet again. Hey, look at Bison there, what? I don't know. Something to do with colours, I take it.
It says I'll drop a few frames, so I can only hope that's during the loading times. Right, finale. Guile versus Bison. GG Bison. <laughs> I don't know what the M stands for. Master. Master Bison. <laughs> I mean, he is popping off a little bit. Or in some of the versions of Street Fighter and Snares, I think it's the World Warrior is the hardest one. He's lethal. He just doesn't stop. If you put it on the hardest setting, it just doesn't stop doing that forward viable person thing. He's got quite a few of the moves. I see him doing them, but they don't do anything. There you go, he got me. I finished him with a sonic boom, how apt. Excellent. Sonic like boom! So that was Street Fighter 2. Played as Guile. Oh, come on. It looks like the ending is not happening for us. But, uh, yeah, the game's over. I'm going to leave it one more minute. It says there's disc activity. Nah, there ain't. So, <laughs> a fitting end to this game. But I will be coming back with, um, I will be definitely coming back with more Street Fighter 2 in a minute with another character. Look at that on the left. I'm just looking at him. There's a character there. Yeah, it's probably someone from the background. I was going to say he's not in the game. He looks like some sort of weird platform game. Funny stuff. Well, see you in a minute. I'm going to be back with um, Zangief maybe. So, sounds good to me. Catch you in a minute.